Hello everybody and welcome to this amazing episode of Theorycraft where we take Spellblade and slap it onto Kronos against a Bologna. Because Bologna is a thing. So this, uh, this person, the Paradox, is a master conquester from season one at least. So we are going to have to watch out heavily for his nonsense. Um, first off, being that I am Kronos, I could probably escape unfortunate death. I can stun and I can move quickly, uh, but we'll see how well that works. Now, this build is actually going to have to be altered for Kronos because, well, quite frankly, starting too much attack speed too early does you no good. Let's just make sure we keep our health high. So, actually, rushing as much power as possible. So, maybe a Rod Tahuti as my third third item versus later even though early power like that with such an expensive item might throw me behind it'll still make me viable I would say there she is ooh she ran forward lucky lucky I'm trying to kill this stuff Get out of my way. Alright, there's no reason to take a whole lot of stupid damage. But getting baited on that, I took a hell of a lot of stupid damage. So you can just keep my health up. to go ahead and constantly ah oh! there we go and keep her ass around I've got blue buff so throwing spells out is not a problem for me She knows she's done. Uh oh. She's risking it. I just actually want to take these really quick. Get a little. I'm actually. I want to get quad four. I keep trying for it. Is she like trying something stupid? Because she's just wasting her time. I, I'm not trying to fathom what's going on here like realistically what is she going for all right so we are going to hurry and take a red buff but did she clear it already no she did not I gotta take this quickly and then I gotta get to lane and then we're gonna retreat for. I could just go. St oh, she's going defense early, which means the Telkin's ring I was gonna get is actually gonna be useless. So I'm going to go ahead and trade it out for a demonic grip. See, the way to beat a Telkin's ring, which I love dearly, is actually um, defense early, because that's what makes it so good is the early defense. So what I'm gonna do second is Winged Blade into Rada Tahuti. So this pen should go through that little bit of a talisman she's got, and she's got boots already. And with a winged blade on my side, I should be able to move effectively. There we are. Now we can go ahead and take our purple. She'll run, take lane real quick. Oh, she jacked our purple. When did she do that? Did she start the game with that? That would make sense. Well, my blue's almost up. There we are. Alright. Doing okay. No need to chase after. She's got full on boots. So, I've got to be careful. I know she went right, so that's the area she's going to come from. Kronos is just stupid overpowered. I don't see why she wouldn't have banned Kronos, but... Come on and hit me. 
Oh. Oh. Juking me. Clearing the wave. I mean, that kind of sucked for me a little bit, but nothing I couldn't remedy with a nice piece of winged blade. So alt's down for a hefty chunk of time. Now I'm going to use this buff to get as much movement speed heading to right to get my blue buff. Because she's going to come clear wave and then I'm going to want blue buff. I need blue buff. She's probably going for her purple. Alright, and plus her ult hasn't even been used, but gotta be careful. And she's rushing that. Oh wow, little damage, just because I haven't been leveling it up. So, again, gotta be wary about these sorts of things. Oh wow, she tanked the whole thing without a single defense item. Well, a defense item for the uh, tower. It actually just didn't hurt her much at all. Typically I'd go Warlocks on a Kronos. Power Kronos would easily win this, but I'm going Spellblade, so we're going to worry about that. And my ult was down, which would have, again, saved my ass, but... I'll keep her here. Ooh. So I'm actually hurt pretty bad. She's healing. Oh, why? I have no aim. Her ult could be up again, so I'm just going to clear wave. And all I need to do is back. Oh, I actually don't need him back. Go straight for a red buff. There we go. Ah, uh, she's gonna take tower. There's no point in defending it. I'll likely die if I try to. Except that she just left. So this is actually a good reason to defend, and that way it can stand for just, like, another turn. Most likely we'll fall by the time I get back, but I'm okay with that. Because we just need outright power. Oh, she got an execution already. Okay, so that's going to go right through me. Uh, hmm. If I can't afford pieces of rod, I'm actually just going to go out for the armor immediately. I mean, that was kind of a... I don't know. I couldn't describe to you what that really was. Ah, uh, if I could just place that. I'm pretty hurt. I mean, that's not to say she isn't hurt at all. Guess I'll get some healing. I don't know what uh, the delay on me is. Oh, it's taking me forever to react. Okay, well, she's got Executioner, so I could either go for more power or get the Nemeans early, which I think I want the Nemeans early. So let's see. Who am I going to get done this time? She's going for the anti-stun, which is a good idea, but with all that freaking... She's got no power to follow up.
took a lot of damage from that. She's gonna end up healing most of that. She actually has her ult too, which is not good for me. She's gonna end up killing me. There we go. Got it. I can't believe I didn't hit her, but I got her. I mean, jeez. She is faster than me. I currently can't escape her without a hasten fatalis, which is another piece of the build I'll be getting here shortly. But let's go jungle. And I need the cooldown of my ult to be shorter, which is what the purpose of leveling his ult is. Which will help me out drastically. Again, don't care if that tower falls. I care about just taking all this. So let the tower fall. It gives me more time to do things when she just takes it. So I'm going to let her and then worry about that. Although I'm shocked I still didn't hit her. I could have sworn I was hitting her for majority of the um, time we were fighting. But I guess that moment when she ulted... Um, it was enough time for her to disengage. Oh, she got it. If I could just hit that, would be grand. Thanks, game. How much defense does she have? I had my ult. Oh shit. She's gonna be able to catch me here. But she gave me a speed boost with their slow. Just walk forward. Ow. That was a lot of damage. Holy crap. But if I can just hurry and grab this. There. Double defense. Take half the damage. I can reach it. I tried. I flicked it out there. It didn't go nearly far enough. Alright. Let's see. This is definitely going to require me to get a little more done than usual. Can't possibly escape her now. I've got 14 seconds until my ult is available. Now we're just in back. Should probably take like half my Phoenix because of this. I really need that rod though. Oh, she's getting a hasten. Shit. So that's not good. Shield the Underworld actually wouldn't be half bad right now. Then again, she did go for a lot of, uh, alright, damage, so we're gonna have to be careful. Again, just something to watch out for. Go ahead and... Oh my god, it didn't hit her. Okay, so she took a bit of damage there. A heavenly agility, eh? Look at that. Ah, well, I fucking missed that one. Trying to keep this uh, out so I can get money, but I failed that. Oh, she's sitting right there waiting for something to happen. Boop, and boop. Just gonna go ahead and back. It doesn't even matter at this point. Because I can grab Rod 2 Hootie. Then we're going to grab a real pen item and maybe hasten fatalis. But she's got no real damage. That's what gets to me. There we are. Clear all that. Going to need a hasten fatalis. I, I still won't even realistically be able to outrun her. Get timers. 
That's what's important right now. I have one of the reds at least. Hmm, this is odd. I'm trying to figure out what she's building. Alright, go ahead and get that off her. I don't need to back. I've got a heal. It'll heal me at least 10%. She just took damage, plus, again. If I can get some real pen, if I can get a real pen item, that'd be fantastic. Wow, don't even need it. That should be good enough. Buy me a little time. Dealt damage to her tower. And then I can start getting some pen, which will stack on top of uh, Demonic Grip, but I really don't want Demonic Grip. I actually want Telkins, because it'll make me do more damage per basic versus dropping her defense, which I don't need to drop. I wish I could have a slow, though. That'd be awesome. Gonna go ahead and claim some buffs. All right, there. It seems like my damage is getting to where it needs to be. This build's a little slow on him, definitely because you don't get a lot of power early. And I definitely don't have sprint, which I should get. We're actually gonna grab that. I don't need sprint. She got beads to get out of the stun, so that's two stuns she's gonna be able to 100% avoid. She's not aware of my ult. Wow, what was the point of that? I mean, you don't have to be aggressive. I will come out and fight you. I'm not turtling because I want to, I'm turtling because you're attempting to bully me with a high-powered freaking god. I mean, Kronos is powerful too, but this build just does not stand up to that. Kronos is so stupid. I didn't even activate Quadrant for yet. Okay. Then we're just gonna run. We're gonna go ahead and make her waste that. If I even did. Nope, she still got it. I'm much slower than she is, too. Yeah, I got her that time. Her priorities over the objective are just a little trivial for me. Um, personally, um, Going attack speed with no power is uh, odd. I don't know. I, I find it odd. Maybe I'll save for a shield the underworld. Um, but this build has minimal power in it. It's all attack speed. How is he a master conquester and this be his build? And, and you know, people are like, uh, even in conquest, I don't feel this is a viable build at all. Um, this is confusing to me, as her, her, she could, she could outright wreck me if she had some sort of power or something, I don't know, I was able to sit up in front of her and tank her and beat her down slowly. She had a really good early advantage because that's, that's a Bologna for you. Very good early advantage. In fact, that's why a lot of people struggle with her. She's just 
too strong at some point. But this game is beyond over. It, it came down to Bologna building too much uh, bruiser against a Kronos who's one of the most overpowered gods. Like I said, Kronos can win with almost any build. Thank you everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game. Ooh, a treasure chest. Hello everybody and welcome to the end screen where I will wish my partner good game. Good game. And uh, let's go over with what happened. Because my build was just not effective. I can't tell if that's right. Oh, wow. Hold on. Whoa, hold on. I'm going to skip this part, boys, but I'm definitely going to speak to him. Okay, so the paradox, the master conquester, um, not the nicest, didn't even, like, gave me sarcasm after saying great game. I mean, I get, it's Kronos, I do, and you were actually put up against a, a theory, which, hey, master conquester just lost to my theory on a Kronos, but I'm going to be honest with everybody, there is a much better build for Kronos. Alright everybody, I am so sorry for that. Welcome to the end screen. I had a very, very long talk with Paradox. He, uh, he just feels Joust is super unbalanced. He's cool. He said good game. Don't bother him, please. Uh, anyway, so let's uh, get to this. So his build is uh, mostly attack speed, and here's how it works. Um, he started with Ninja Tabbies, which personally is the weakest boot. He, Warrior Tabbies would have helped him a little more with the additional 20 power. Uh, because the attack speed is really pitiful. Even though attack speed does benefit Bologna in a sense, it's not needed. Because if your skills can do the killing, which majority of the time Bologna skills kill, um, it, it's the way to go, it's just to get some power. Early Gaia Stone helped her defend against Kronos for quite some time. The Executioner allowed her to go through my non-existent armor until I got Nemeans. Um, then she got the Magi's Blessing to counter my slows, and midway she started swapping between items, which was costing her a little bit of money. Um, I believe she was going for Chin Size and more Winged Blade, but it was just too much attack speed with absolutely no power, which isn't very viable anymore in uh, Joust. So if she had maybe gone for something that would um, help her out a bit more, uh, maybe like power uh, transcendence, even though she doesn't need the mana, the power definitely would have been there to help her out. Uh, additionally, I don't approve of a heavenly agility just because of the additional 30 seconds on the uh, cooldown. And plus, Bologna really doesn't have much of a heal other than her whip, which is silly because, I, I don't know, 30 seconds for an additional heal, I don't feel it's worth it, especially if you get stunned. But beads were a good pickup, especially if you have a Magi's Blessing, it kind of makes sure that you don't get stunned by Kronos. And like I said, Kronos is a cheap bastard. Ban him every time and you'll never have to face this crap, because I didn't even need actives. Um, I, I, you know, she had a very good early game start and took my tower, but that one, that one kill I got under the Phoenix that let me get her tower and her um, Phoenix, and then she, I guess she lost a little bit of morale and tried to fight me again. And that second time, being that I was close to my full build, she wasn't able to handle me anymore with her build, as my build was actually designed for the late game. Because of the cost of Rod Tahuti, it kind of puts me behind, if you guys know what I mean. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good game.